everyone, welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the National Sports Center. I'm your host Scott Clayson, and behind me here at the Schwann Super Rink, we hosted the USA Broomball National Championships this past weekend. We'll tell you that story in a couple of minutes. But first, the biggest event happening this week at the National Sports Center isn't happening at the National Sports Center, and that would be the home opener for the Minnesota Stars FC professional soccer team. They're opening Saturday night, April 7th at 7.30 against the Carolina Railhawks at the Metrodome in downtown Minneapolis. Now we figured since the NSC started the Stars franchise two years ago, we can claim that event as, as one of ours. And as part of this weekend festivities, Thursday night at Brits Pub, again in downtown Minneapolis, the Stars previewed their 2012 kit as well as debuting the documentary Shine On. This movie was produced by Brave New Media, a local media agency here in the Twin Cities, and it documented the 2011 championship season for the Stars. NSC TV, of course, was at the event, so let's take a look. We had two things in mind when designing the kit. One was we wanted to pay tribute to Minnesota. Um, I think that's important and that's what we did the home kit. So in the home kit we have the state of Minnesota cut out of the number. We also have the state motto, La Toile du Nord, uh, on the tail of the shirt. Um, obviously we have the NSL Soccer Bowl trophy in the middle on the front and we still have Nessie on the front and the hip. So, uh, you know, we wanted to make sure that, you know, we still are Minnesota's team and, and I wanted to keep those things, those elements involved. With the away kit, it was more about the fans and the dark clouds and, and that slogan of everywhere we go, dark clouds follow. And I wanted to incorporate that into the shirt. So by putting the, the actual dark cloud image on the shirt as well as the slogan, and then the images that we have, we just had some great images from last year, uh, building those into the number. Is, is something that um, is unique and I, I don't think too many clubs have ever done before. Kevin just kind of seems to go above and beyond and every day he'd come in the locker room this winter like, oh, you should see what I'm doing to these jerseys and they're going to be the best thing that we've ever had. And, and I don't know, he takes pride in it and it, it's kind of cool for all of us because we get to see the end result. And across the bottom it says, wherever we go, the dark clouds will follow. So that's new to this year as well as the number with, uh, like I said, all the fans inside the numbers and um, <clears throat> each number's a little different. They're, they're great. I mean, what I love is the, the touches, the, the little like details throughout the jersey. Most are just, like traditionally soccer jerseys tend to be very generic. It's like you got your home colors, you got your away colors, you, you know, you have a patch. But it's just the little like, um, like, the name on the top of the collar, the, the little patches on the side. So we've got again Stars FC in the collar. We've got the official Dark Cloud logo. How huge is it to have the Dark Clouds represented on the away kits? That, that's really cool. I mean, I haven't seen the numbers yet, but I'm, I'm sure like whatever number I'm putting on the back of my kits is going to be all my favorite pictures. Like, oh look, here's this person, here's that person. It's the fact that my friends are on there. That's, I'd almost have a picture of my friends on the jersey than me on the jersey, but I know, you know, I'm a part of it. That's that's the, the fans are the 12th man. I mean, there's 11 guys on the field and, you know, they are that next that next player. The support at home, you know, the final, for instance, having them be loud and cheer. In and, fact, and, we don't have a number 12 on our team uh, and that is on purpose. The, the number 12 on our team is our fan. Our image and how we perceive is important to us and, and being looked at as professionals in a professional club, professional players, and, and really a, a big team in this market, you know, that's what we're trying to get to. And I think as the fans recognize those details, that's, that's important. By putting some of these images on the, on the shirt, those are details and, and those little things matter. And I think oftentimes in years past, that stuff could get overlooked. And what we're trying to do in the office is to make sure we're not overlooking those items. Well, of course, we wish the best of luck to the Stars as they kick off their season Saturday night in the Metrodome. Tickets are only $5, so make sure that you get them and fill up the dome for this great home opener. 
Well, as we mentioned this past weekend here at the Super Rink, we hosted the USA Broomball National Championships. Now, we've been host to this event numerous times in the past, and it draws teams from all over the United States. NSC TV was there, so let's take a look at some of the action. The uh, 13th Annual USA National Broomball Championships. Uh, from, uh, we have teams from nine different states here in the U.S. that are competing for all divisions, uh, CORAC, uh, men's four divisions and also a collegiate level. So uh, we have seven different divisions with 58 teams total. This is our uh, third time in the Blaine Super Inc. 2007-2010. Uh, and now uh, we're here in 2012 and next year's Nationals will be in Oxford, Ohio, we just announced. It's a well-run tournament that we're a part of and uh, we look forward to it. It's, it's a um, different than a normal tournament is it's some of the best teams competing out here from every class. So it's fun to get out, compete, play hard, enjoy some camaraderie with some team or with some, with some friends. And... They don't have to really qualify but most of the teams are the top or the cream of the crop in their state or their the divisions in the Minnesota. Yeah. The uh, black team that's playing out here were the uh, two years ago the collegiate champions. Now they're playing men's B already so teams are advancing not really new teams, but they're advancing to new divisions as they get better. It's a pretty competitive tournament at all classes. So if you want to challenge, your, uh, you know, challenge yourself, come on out and play some of the better teams in your class. This is the tournament to do it at. Well, congratulations to all the teams that participated in the Broomball National Championships. Now, make sure to watch next week's episode as well because we have new golf carts. At the Victory Links Golf Course, we're going to take them out for a ride, see how they handle, so you'll want to tune in. And that is going to do it for this week's episode of NSC TV. As always, find us on our website, nscsports.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. They just unveiled the new kits for 2012. What's your take on this? Well, don't tell my wife, but I'm pre-ordering too. Home and away. You know my affinity for soccer. You also know my affinity to cut into soccer games. <laughs> yes, I know, but we put, we put that behind us, haven't we? Yes, we have. But first, ah, that car distracted me. I thought it was stopping. Get out of the way! All right, three, two...